Hey everybody, welcome to Smash Bros. Uh, whichever week this is at this point, the weeks put them together. Um, five. Uh, this is one of two matches that's going on this week. We'll have another one tomorrow, I believe. Um, and it's gonna be an interesting week as we are we have to finish up this season right before spring break comes along. Um, so today we are playing against SBSU, I think, something like that. Close enough. Um, I don't know what that symbol is from my producer. <laughs> but today I am alone for commentating. Viola is not here. For the, they are working on play stuff um, for the delays. You should go watch the delays at some point, Wednesday, Thursday, or Friday. Uh, but we'll we'll do the same thing that we did last semester. So we'll have the players come in after their match and then they'll commentate with me, basically. So we'll be seeing that uh, start up pretty soon as it looks like they're probably just gonna gentleman to PS2 again. And we'll just have to play out that first match on on Pokemon Stadium, even though there's so much more interesting ma maps, you know? There's Battlefield, there's Small Battlefield, there's um, more Pokemon Stadiums, <laughs> more Pokemon Stages, um, uh, Smashville, um, Town and City. Oh, well, they might not be going to Pokemon Stadium. It looks like they're going to go to uh, Small Battlefield. For once a different stage at the start yeah so uh we'll be seeing them start up here pretty soon uh we don't i don't know much about this team but hopefully we'll be able to get a pretty good dub here today um against them and maybe get our first dub ever so far hopefully we'll see as yeah it's sad hours with how we just get destroyed every time but it's not that bad you know we can We'll figure it out eventually as hope that they'll start any second now they're both just sitting in the arena not starting but they'll start any second now i swear right they're, they're, they'll totally start any second now. any second now. like literally right now nope okay they're not starting now. um well then i'll go over, oh but now of course as soon as i was going to change the subject they start all right so first match today, we're going to have Manny on his classic Wario versus uh, Pete Weber on Kazuya. So we're going to see a small battlefield come out. Hopefully Manny can take advantage of these well-placed platforms to get some pretty good combos and also stall out this Kazuya lock with Wario. You kind of want to build that time for that waft. And they're just basically trading each other's combos right here. As we can see, uh, Manny has taken a little bit more combos. He's trying to start some more. Nair is safe on shield, so he can just kind of do that. As it looks like he's going to get that uh, down tilt dash attack, which is pretty good. And get the down air there. That's going to that's gonna make sure that uh, Kazuya has a little bit of a difficult time recovering. And he's going to get killed there by the down beam. As, ooh, he's not, that's not going to be a great start. As at least he will be able to get out there and... However, that was a 50% combo, and this is not going great either. He kind of needs to just stay more away from him when he gets those combos started, as that'll be a pretty good up air to get him away. Hopefully, he can get something going here, as maybe he needs an up smash or something coming, as he's going to try and throw out some smash attacks. He's going to bring out the bike now, so he can just give that more mobility and that damage. It's a pretty good uh, option to get in. He's going to block some attacks there. He's going to trade there, which was pretty solid. He's going to try for the... He's going to try for the uh, edge guard, but looks like he's not going to be able to succeed. Uh, Kazuya on the character select screen is on the bottom row. Um, a little bit over from the knees. As it looks like Manny is almost about his... He needs to get one stock for sure, and I think he'll be able to do it, as he will get it with the walk. As uh, he's at 100%. One stock. This isn't looking great for him, but he's going to get that back throw. He's going to try and get the bite. He's going for a little bit of a cheese strat, and I like it. We need some cheesy strategies here. He just needs to get him off stage, and if he gets that bite, it's a pretty difficult recovery, especially after Kazuya uses something like his up B or his jump. So if he can get something, he might be able to... If he gets that opportunity, it will be very scary for Kazuya. As actually Manny was playing really well with the spacing there but just kind of messed up there at the end and he will lose the first match as but he was able to get one stock for sure and we'll see him hopefully come in here at some point right yeah yeah he should be coming here at some point 
and then I'll do the little interview thing and we'll, we'll see we'll watch the next matches as well as that was a pretty decent first match I think there was a, a lot of combos that just wasn't or like a lot of even ish movement and stuff but I think uh Kazuya just had more damage and more just he hit him when with the right opportunities I think it could have been a lot more even if they had a lot more time all right, I'll scoot over here. I was definitely not sitting in between the two chairs to be in the center, you know, main character syndrome and everything. Yeah, that's me right here. <laughs> All right, how'd that match go? Well, uh, like, you are muted. Aussie. And you also don't have the mic. Bring your mic closer. Ah. Uh, yep. Okay. A little bit. Yeah, that's good. Okay. Good enough. Okay, well, other than the fact that, like, Kazi is one of the worst warriors worst matchups uh that guy only knows advantage okay I like I, I don't know if he knows this advantage but it looks like i mean you saw there like all he was doing was just spamming electric wind god yeah like, that, that was stage. pretty much all he was doing pretty funny uh the person who was playing kazia left the arena <laughs> he left <laughs> he just left the arena i don't understand um i'm pretty sure if he leaves the arena that's and like doesn't come back that's technically disqualification well let's hope that he doesn't come Maybe. back <laughs> i don't know i don't i don't remember the any cc we'll take Girls, the free if he doesn't come back i guess that's just free for us then. yeah we'll take the free two stocks um <laughs> i wonder if he knows I imagine he doesn't even know how crew works that would be really funny that would, make, that would be funny this is fifth week and he does not know <laughs> well then again technically like, we also don't even know that they even had a cause at all the only thing we know is the four guys that they played uh, that played last week, which are Hackman, Little Mac, Inkling, and I already forgot the other guy. Wasn't I don't remember, but the most Wolf, of those sound Wolf horrible to play. Against. Yeah, those sound horrible to play against. I mean, well, if you can exploit the recovery, but yeah. Other than that, like yeah, most of those are kind of horrible to play against. So, for who's up next? No spoilers, right? No spoilers. Yeah, no spoilers. How do you think they will be able to take on this Kazuya? And do a little bit better than you did i mean i hit him with one common like he, it felt like he didn't even try to get out of it but i don't know if that's because i was doing well or that but i don't know i guess the fact that like he only stays on the ground and like he only tries to go in the air if he goes into if you're on the platform so mm -hmm. that but uh i don't know i guess just <laughs> run away okay well it looks like i mean i was thinking just circle camping the entire game which i could have would have been funny fun. Would have been fine. I would have been like, uh, <laughs> but here we are. We are starting here. Uh, we are seeing Matt on his Pokemon trainer. I don't think we've seen him much on this Pokemon trainer I don't know uh, yet. versus the Kazuya that uh, played earlier. So Kazuya is going to SD right away. So um, he does. No, I, I don't get why he left him. I don't know. Why he He's going to do his taunt. Uh, we're going to hopefully see some pretty good combos come out from the Squirtle on these uh, three I mean, platforms. And it's definitely a heavyweight, so this will be this will be interesting to see. I don't think we've seen many Pokemon trainers in general. That was no. an electric, uh, electric thing into office. nothing, pretty much. Oh, that. that's a little scary. You might want to switch pretty soon into Ivysaur. Probably. But. Just to live a little bit longer. As, yep, there's the switch. Oh, and he's instantly going to get grabbed out of it. He, he might need... Okay, I thought he was going to need a switch for the recovery. He might, actually. He should have switched a little bit. Yeah, sooner. he switched yeah so now it's an even two stocks i think matt could have gotten a little bit better out of that more out of that stock if he just played his switches a little bit better as he's uh, gonna make it back there that's a little scary of an offstage interactions between the two as he's gonna switch again to dodge that uh electric wind godfist and he still gets hits the shield so he gets knocked out of it yeah and he's gonna get those jabs those are pretty nice jabs to at least get him away get some damage in he's gonna get that back throw get him off stage He's going to go right to the platform that Kazi is. He's going to get that back throw. That back throw was kill. very close to killing. He might want to switch again already Probably. as he's going to get... Oh, he's not going to get caught he's by the fishing, up there as that's going to be grab. a grab and kill. As I'd say, stay on Charizard for a little bit. <laughs> I don't know. It's, it's another bigger body. So. Yeah, as but Squirtle has a little bit difficult time killing usually unless you get a lucky smash deck. And it looks like he's going to go to the Ivysaur here, and he's just going to get comboed right out of the switch pretty early. And it's going to it's gonna be tough, as he's going to get Electro Wind Godfist right there. Well, he plays Tekken 8, probably. I don't know. He plays Tekken. Maybe, he, he plays not. a Tekken game. Probably. The maybe. first, maybe. I don't know. The, first the second one. one. Funny if he does play. Well, 
I gotta go get him. Mm -hmm. Yeah, go bring in Matt for me. I'll grill him on this. I'll be like, why? <laughs> yeah, so that was an interesting match. I think uh, the switches were a little weird at times, but I think overall um, their, their skills seem pretty similar. So hopefully we'll see a little bit more interesting as I don't think, I think Geo is going to be up last because he came in late and I think he's still warming up. So we'll, we'll see how that, how that order goes as hopefully Matt will come in here pretty soon. Like probably like any second now and he'll, we'll be able to see the next and we'll be able to get that interview done and see the next match coming up pretty soon. As Oh, there we go. Matt has been summoned. <laughs> yes. Welcome. Good to be on here. Thank you for having me. Yeah. So what do you think of that match? Um, Kazuya Misha, Mishima is a character. That is for sure. Yeah. Um, I don't know. Uh, I should not have played Pokemon Trainer. Um... I think what I did was I got too ahead of myself and should have just should have just stuck with Luigi. Mm -hmm. That's just um, experience with the character as well. That's like the first time I've ever played like any good Kazuya. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, playing that Pokemon Trainer, those, those switches seemed a little off. Uh, mm -hmm. What were your ideas going through with those switches? Um, well, I wasn't going to ever try and play the Charizard, that's for sure because he loses that matchup easily. Mm -hmm. Squirtle at low percent, Ivysaur anywhere else, just because he can zone. But then I never put myself like in a situation where I could like counter or like capitalize on that. Yeah. Um, even then, Ivysaur is not the best zoner. But he, I mean, he is a good zoner, but he's not the best. All right, yeah. so what do you think uh, for our next player here, uh, Gabby, is, Gabby can do to against this Kazuya? Um, I think the reason he chose Kirby is because Kirby has multiple jumps. I think what he was thinking is that, <clears throat> excuse me. Oh, uh, what he was thinking is that he can try and gimp Kazuya mm -hmm. um, when he's off stage, for the most part. Um, I mean it's it's a bold strategy, I'll say that. Yeah. Um, but we'll see we'll see how it works. I mean, we've seen this this come out multiple times. It's uh, this Kirby at least come out multiple times. It's, this is one of his staples, I will say. Mm -hmm. But yep. it is a little weird because Kazuya has a lot of damage and kills pretty early. Yes, he does. So it's a little scary playing a lighter character like this as that F smash w probably would have killed mm -hmm. if it hit. It would have. Yeah. and But so far, it is looking pretty even in terms of damage. And that's going to be yep. a, a little bit of a scary grab, sending him off stage. And he's going to he's gonna do a little babysit there and... That would scare yep. Gabby enough uh, to not recover pro pro uh, properly. As he's going to miss the down smash, and combos are going to try and come out, and he's going to get some pretty good ones off. And it looks like that's going to end the combo with a trade there. That's fortunate. Yeah, and oh, that... Got put in special fall. That was a special fall, because it got pushed off the edge. And... Excuse me. As turn around. It, yeah, the turnaround grab there. So he's going to be able to... He should make it back here. And he was not able to punish, though, at the end there. As that'll be decent recovery. He's on stage at least. That's gonna be scary there with the uh, enrage with uh, Kazuya's down B and pretty much. As that's yep, gonna be armor. the down B there going through yeah. the up B and getting the kill there. Pretty much just popping the balloon. <laughs> Hopefully he can get something going. As that's gonna that down tilt didn't really start much. As he's gonna the Kazuya is gonna start some combos up, but. I think because he is a little scared of him being so high percent as nothing's really coming from it as maybe maybe an up smash or something will come out from Gabby to finish off this stock as he's just spacing out right now with the <laughs> with the little down tilt as now he probably could go for something here as he's going to get grabbed thrown oh, off the see. stage. It, I thought it, for a second he was going to go around. But it looks like he is, he's gonna go, he was trying for that up smash there, as there that rock's gonna kill him there. So one stock each, uh, as hopefully Gabby can maybe try one of those Gimp plays like you were talking about earlier, and try and get something going. As he's gonna start up a combo, he's tried to get the chain grab over a little bit, 
but look but the spot dodge came out for the Kazuya. And now it looks like the, the down tilts are back <laughs> as the down smash comes out and that's gonna that's gonna be what ends it there with the down smash on the shield. Mm -hmm. All right. Go bring me Gabby. Go do that. Bring me Gabby. <laughs> uh that was a match. The, this Kazuya is a thorn in our side, we can say that. Um he is definitely doing some plays as now we see Gabby come in here. Enter. Sit. Talk. All right. How, how did you think of the match? Um, my reasoning for going Kirby is just trying to fit someone who can try and put him in disadvantage since, as you know, saw from the past three, he kind of did struggle in disadvantage because it feels like all he knows is advantage, which is granted you do need that. You do need that to, you know, basically require to play Kazuya, but if you only have that, then you can't really capitalize. As you can see by down tilt on shield, right up against his face, that was he, very he couldn't do anything. Yeah. He's just, you just kept down tilting him. Yeah. Very good spacing with that, I will say. Yeah. <laughs> um, and of course, um, you know, Electric misses Kirby when he's down tilting mm -hmm. and all of his combos since he's, well, he's lighter. So then, you know, the Electric, uh, he has to specifically do the. the you know, the weird uh, double jump tech where you instantly cancel his double jump with the nair. But, of course, the only problem that um, Kirby has in that matchup is, of course, he's light. Yeah, so he, he dies super He dies early. early, so. Like, yeah. getting 100 plus, he'll probably will die. I'm not exactly sure why you went for so many edge guards against Yeah, there Kirby. was that one where he just kind of babysat you and you just didn't recover from it. Yeah, and I fastballed a bit too early on that, so I couldn't. So I went too low, and I tried to at least catch him with the, you know, the final cutter spike hitbox. Mm -hmm. But yeah. yeah, so now we're gonna see Geo. What do you think Geo is gonna be able to do against this Kazuya? This Kazuya has one stock. Yeah, one stock. Um, he he won't have to worry about that much about rage and you know rage drive until the very end. Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> I guess he was trying to be cool and wave dash off, but you know like. Yeah. Dash off, but he failed. Yeah, so we're going to start here. Good PK fire. He's going to miss the grab, though. Of course, the problem here is, you know, because he's got semi-tough guy, so. True. As the, the combos are already going to start coming out, as he's going to be able to get out of another PK fire, as pretty much Geo is just running away, which isn't a bad idea. That's going to be a uh, very close to a pretty good drag down, as that's going to be a scary, uh, I honestly don't even know what most of these moves are called. Uh, it was electric one god fist into you know nair into regal dragon fist and all the funny kazuya names uh i just know it is f tilt i'll be honest as that's gonna be that's gonna be the down throw finally coming out is but he's not gonna really go for anything after that as hope oh, he's gonna back throw uh, <laughs> yeah. trying so hard <laughs> of course, yeah and then here we can see like how in disadvantage where he just tries to get advantage again of mm -hmm. the bad di but you know he did electric wing off his outer shield which um if it was a regular space move that was safe he would just get punished for it of course yeah. it can be a bit tough because of you know you do get hit by it well that's most likely your sock gone so it's you yeah know, this fear is factor. a lot of juggling here from uh the kazuya he's just gonna keep juggling yeah. and Geo's yeah. not going to do a jump or anything to get away from that up smash, and he's just going to fall right into it. There, it's kind of hard to tell whether or not it is true or not because it's very character specific on whether or not they're big enough to get hit mm -hmm. from the up smash before they have a chance to get out. Yeah. And, and for that, against us, I feel like he might have been able to, but that's just hard to tell. I think he probably could have air dodged. Maybe. I think he had time to air dodge. Yeah. Um, do you want to go get him for me? Yeah. Yeah. Unfortunate match there because you just kind of. Did a lot of damage to that uh to geo and i don't think geo has ever really played against akazia so it kind of probably came as a surprise and just kind of ran through him almost as hopefully the next uh series will or the next match will go a little bit better or the next set of 12 stocks will go a little bit better as that is now one zero for ss s something university I honestly don't know the name of the school we're playing at. The oh my gosh, the producer S C S U. Thank you, producer. Welcome. What's up? What's up? <laughs> How did that match go? Uh, not good. <laughs> not good, man. Did you get any warm up before? I did. I got Kay. two games. Okay, good. So I mean, but I didn't feel like I felt rushed. Mm -hmm. I didn't know we were playing. 
<laughs> I thought, okay, on the Discord it said Wednesday at 7. Okay. I was like, oh, okay. So then I just got to work, and then I got the message like, Gio, we're playing in uh, 15 minutes. I was like, what the heck? So I just brought my lunch, I came here. Yeah. Rushed in. So have you ever, like, Kazuya messed you up a little bit about. Yeah. What kind of do you attest to that as the twins were talking about how he was kind of bad at disadvantage? Did you try to, uh, like, attack any of those weaknesses that he had? Honestly, I did at the start, but then I kind of lost at the end because I kind of felt like I was kind of rushed in there. Mm-hmm. Felt kind of uneasy, and then going in, playing right away. I don't know, just felt kind of rushed. But no, I thought he was pretty good. I'm he. It's he's beatable though. Like yeah. if we get disadvantage, he's 100 percent beatable. Yeah. Uh, like looking at your match in general, you played decently well against him. Like you had those, you had some chances. Uh, you almost did back. You just missed I'm, most of the <sighs> PK fire kind of stuff. I feel like that kind of was working, though, at the start of the PK fire combos. He was able to get out of a lot, mm-hmm. which was the problem with you. Oh, I can see this. I'm surprised Gabby didn't go this character last time. No. Um, but He's actually surprisingly pretty good with that character. Yeah, it's very he, it's very interesting. <laughs> Even though he, like, just started. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, so we're going to see Gabby on his hero that we saw last week for the first time. That actually did play pretty well. I hope Gabby can get a few uh, crit inputs in though, and actually see some interesting stuff. He's gonna get, he's gonna charge up his neutral beef only. That's a solid thirty percent fireball, pretty much. But this little Mac is very fast, oh and he's uh-huh. gonna take the fireball, but he's just gonna not really be like, he's not gonna be knocked away from it as much because of the super armor and the down smash. He's gonna be, able, Gabby's gonna get back on the stage, but this, this little Mac, he's fast and he's scary. And that's he, the problem with this is he's, he knows what he's doing. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. And Gabby's just going to he was looking for a zoom there and didn't really get anything. So he's just going to die as hopefully this is going to hopefully Gabby can get something out of this 60 percent. A crit would kill here as that's going to be the KO punch. That's a little scary. Uh, I believe it's 20 percent to get rid of the KO punch. He's not going to go for it there as usually a down tilt into KO punch works pretty well. And it looks like oh. he's going to be able to bait out the KO punch there. And that's gonna that's gonna be another setup with the down tilt. Ooh, gonna be able to dodge the down tilt uh, side B there. Hopefully, he can just get some more damage and get this kill off or get, get a stock into the off. Ledge, Gabby. As I mean, you guys have played against a, a few little Max because of Jax. But yeah. <laughs> nothing like this, I will say. Jax's little Mac is uh, not this. <laughs> as yeah, he plays a little differently with. Little Mac, now that I like see. Yeah, as oh, uh, now oh. finally matching the speed of the Little Mac, actually exceeding it with the accelerate. Hopefully, you can get something going. As that's going to be a, a nair there, as the accelerate now ends. Hopefully, you can get something, but that down tilt's going to knock him away a little bit too far. He's going to need to throw out some more spells, as that's going to be very close to killing there. He he needs to get some sword attack or spell out. Uh, that snooze was pr- oh good <laughs> cancel. The little Mac just barely saved it there. That side B is pretty close to killing. Goes into the oomph to try and get this. Uh, probably would kill with almost a jab, but that will be the kill from the jab from the other from the little Mac. Now into the psych up. Gonna go for the forward smash there. Gonna do a lot of damage to shield. Probably a little scary for uh, Gabby there. He's gonna get that interesting little up B play there. He needs to get some kind of attack going while he still has psych up. That's going to be the nice. dash attack. As now he's going to cycle through a little bit of his spells. Uh, and hopefully he can get something with this. But that's going to be another forward smash. Kind of just going through the sword. He needs to get something. O- he needs to get this little Mac off of him. That accelerate yeah. is going to help. As we saw before, the accelerate was when he was able to actually do stuff to this little Mac really well. And now he's going to need to take full advantage of this time. This little Mac is not letting him breathe. Yes, is, I mean that's the idea of Little Mac. Yeah. <laughs> is if you let somebody breathe, they're gonna throw you off stage and you're gonna die. Is that's gonna like be that. another stock <laughs> right there? Great, just basically forward throw into fireball, which is we just need another one of those, right? Yeah, charge um, up. A crit charge also up. would be nice. Just uh, right here. Oh, if if that worked, if it's that so worked. Weird. If I called it, that would have been crazy. Oh, oh, he's gonna die to the F tilt. That's tragic. But if my crit called, if my crit happened. It would have been game over. 
It would have been so good. I would have. I'm the greatest commentator. Like right there. <laughs> I, I retire. You can clip that moment. I right retire. There. <laughs> <laughs> I clip and retire. That's it. <laughs> kind of want to play against. That little Mac was interesting. Go play right now, though. You'll have to. All right, bring him in, though. Bring Gabby in. That was a fun match to watch. That was a very interesting match. We saw a comeback from Gabby there. Uh, I think we have some potential in this, uh, at least against this little Mac, as hopefully we can get something going with the next player, which might be Geo. Who knows? No spoilers, of course. <laughs> as hopefully we can welcome Gabby. Welcome. Yeah. <laughs> Already? You just can't get out of this place. You just love this place so much. So, how did you think of that match went? Um, I was thinking of just like oh, trying to go against, of course, um, I guess technically metagaming because of course they are all remote and the uh, Kajia got off the, you know, the match arena went to spectator stand. So we technically knew that Kajia wasn't going in. I mean, of course, unless there was just another guy coming in as Kajia. So technically it doesn't matter. Yeah. Um, like I went hero because I was thinking it was like, um, from what we saw before, they started Pac-Man last time and out of all the characters we have, I feel like Hero is the one with the most even matchup because, again, mm -hmm. he can technically counter zone. So it forces Pac-Man to be more aggressive because he has to get in because either I get, you know, uh, Kafriz charged up or I get buffs. Yeah. So, um, yeah. And, um, of course, um, there we can see, uh, you know, uh, to me, it's pretty solid, pretty good little mech. Um, he was really good with pairing. So, like, that was the one problem I had because, of course, one problem that I guess my two sword characters have with Ike and heroes they're very susceptible to parrying like if you can parry their aerials then well they kind of don't have anything because on parry they are really uh, laggy yeah so we saw in that match you made a little bit of a comeback that was very exciting yeah. for us in the booth here uh, as you were down that one to down two stocks basically yeah. you brought them down to one stock mm -hmm. how did that kind of occur in your mind um, I was thinking because, like, I mean, I do know how, like, you're supposed to play Little Mac optimally. It's like, you, obviously, you're not supposed to, you know, spam smash attacks, but you're mm -hmm. supposed to, you want to try and abuse um, for a uh, uh, down ang angled forward smash because that's his best smash attack he has because of how much damage it does in shield pressure. Like, I was thinking, it's like, maybe I can just try and play a bit more, I guess, explosively and more erratically and try and, like, throw out smash attack in big moves. Yeah, so Gio was very confident here. Uh, he was talking to Booth like, I am I can beat this little mech. I got this. And he went out there. I'm excited for this. I want to see this happen. Uh, hopefully a back throw comes out. That's my that's my rooting. Yeah. Uh, over or under three back throws? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> this, that'd be a horrible bet to take. Yeah, yeah. I'm taking the under every day. Yeah. As he's going he's gonna to get caught in the middle of the PK fire animation. Un, kind of just too fast to really get much of a PK fire off. Uh, as that's going to be the first hit onto the Little Mac there with the back air. As he might need to try and get more of those. There's another back air. Because yeah. he needs to throw out just more faster attacks, basically. Mm -hmm. That PK fire. Yeah, the shielding coming out. As he needs... Oh, he was very close to that grab there, but good uh, roll away. As intro... <laughs> yeah, I think he um, tried to go with a funny, you know, PK rocket. but Yeah, I think it. so, too. But was just... I'm assuming that's the reasoning for Little Mac wanting to take Ness to regular battlefield to try and like stuff out. Um, uh, Tried to air dodge onto the yeah. plat onto the ledge there, but just edged uh, edged uh, air dodge a little bit onto stage onto, onto stage onto instead ledge, yeah. and just got uh, down smashed instead. Yeah. Hope that's gonna be a pretty good nair to kind of set stuff some stuff up, but it's not really gonna do anything. As now there's a PK fire, the back throw one. Might, maybe the bet will work out for the over. We'll see. Uh, right now it's under still, under three. Yeah. We'll change it to under two. <laughs> As that's going to that's gonna break the KO punch there. And hopefully we can get something going. As uh, maybe another PK fire would be able to set up for the back throw. That's going to be a back air. He's going to do the edge guards with his classic thunder. And it's not really going to come of anything as he didn't catch him with the tail. Uh, yeah. Of course, you know, KO punch is always scary on, you know, in the matchup because you have to just make sure you, because of course it turns in, into a really aggressive game into more mm. of a just like a real campy Ooh. game. That's uh, going to be a good drag down forward air there. He might be able to get something with the edge guard. Oh, that forward air would have gotten, would have done some pretty good work there. He needs just really one good attack, like a back throw or something. 
At this point, I'm just hoping for it. KO Punch is here again, which is... Ideally, he doesn't want to get hit by it, because yeah. it evens out. And that's ideally, gonna... he doesn't want to lose a stock before losing KO Punch. Then yeah, that as that's yeah. going to kill the punch. That's going to kill uh, Geo there yeah. with the and upbeat. Now, even though Mac is at 160, it's basically equal, because if you can get the KO Punch off at a mm -hmm. high enough percent, that's... Oh, equal. the KO Punch goes away. So now it's not equal. <laughs> yeah. Now it is uh, Little Mac. I do think it's good uh, correct choice on Little Mac on going aggressive to try and just hopefully get out a lucky stock. Yep, and that's going to be the yeah, back throw. Let's go. Yes! Finally, Geo. I can't wait to see the stats of Geo and it's just number of back throws. One. <laughs> One back throw kill in the entire season, and that's it. <laughs> Um, it sucks that it got down to, you know, uh, Gion with the one stock, but he can at least, he at least, you know, uh, got the Mac out, because I do feel like um, the other two characters that we have coming up next probably would have struggled a little bit on getting the final stock off. Yeah, I just hope this Kazuya doesn't go back, and I hope to see some other players for their team. Um, I think we could still beat that Kazuya. I think we could make that Kazuya yeah. struggle at least, and probably get it probably win eventually but yeah. i just i want to see some other players i want to see i want to see some variety you know yeah. um i did think it was a bit interesting that of course you know i mentioned earlier that um little mac taking nest to um uh regular battlefield because of course um that situation because of course you know it could be to try and snuff out the you know up uh, uh, the pk thunder uh edge guards oh, the mic wasn't close to come on you gotta yeah production better come on it's fine i'm, I'm projecting messing with you I'm projecting fine <laughs> But yeah, but I'm um, also kind of backfired, and we can see like with a uh, you know little middling part where they're just in neutral, and well, um, uh, Jiro was able to just technically camp him out, camp him out, and just stay above platforms. And of course, Little Mac doesn't want to be forced mm -hmm. to jump that much. Of course, Little Mac isn't half bad on platforms because I remember watching some funny little uh, top peanut gameplay where he's just absolutely destroying peanut uh, uh, people on platforms just because he goes out hunting on them. It's like insane with the tech chasing he has on them. Yeah, horrible game. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> no spoilers, no spoilers. Ah, oh, this is not going to be fun, though. Uh, but we won't see the Kazuya, at least, so that's a positive. Um, I'm just looking over there, and I'm just like, oh, gosh. Oh. Do you see it? Oh, yeah. Yep. This is bad, man. Yeah, this is bad. Uh -huh. I'm so happy I'm yeah. not playing today. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, I don't want to play against that. <laughs> Geo came in last minute, and I was like, yes, <laughs> in my mind. But yeah, so uh, we'll see this next match come up. How do you think, without telling the character what the character is, how do you think Geo is going to uh, combat this? Um, I guess it just depends on how well Geo can um, maneuver around such um, big hitboxes, I guess. <laughs> and like a larger threat range, obviously. And then mm -hmm. how he can um, at least try and capitalize on, you know, the opposing fighter's poor close-up game and like, I guess, terrible frame data. Because, of course, um, they do have, you know, good old reliable of smash out of shield and like decent um, non-special uh, attacks, but... Yeah. Yeah, just trying to figure out can he get in before he gets walled out. Yeah, this is a very interesting description. I appreciate it as as it was pretty good without mentioning the character. Um I think yeah. you left a few like character options open with uh with the idea of big hitboxes. I was like, okay, that could be Ganondorf, that could be Bowser, that could be a few characters. Yeah. And then like threat range while well, you've got, you know, Sephiroth. Yeah, so I'm like there's a few options, but it is going to be Min Min. If any of you guess that, um, you win something. I don't Boo, know. Who plays? No, I'm kidding. Um, <laughs> it's just Min Min is weird because like she she she's literally just fucking um, Axel hey, Low. From, no swearing. She's literally just Axel <laughs> Low from Guilty Gear. But, um, yeah, because I mean, just a big <laughs> ranger. This is this is a PG stream. I am sorry to all of the kids watching. Gabby has a potty mouth. Um, <laughs> as we are going to see this go to town and city, which is a, which actually makes sense for this match. Yeah. For, uh, as we're going to see pretty much 
it's going to be very difficult for Geo to get in as it's already been 30 seconds and finally I mean, he did damaged. pretty good not getting hit. To be yeah, that's true. But now it is Final Destination Part 2. And yeah. so, which is a little annoying for... Oh, that's going to be a back throw. Down throw early percent. Come on, Geo. Yeah, come on. It's <laughs> When it gets red, you do the back one. When it's not, yeah. you do down. We got to come up with a rhyme for him. I think he tried to do an upbeat there. That's going to be a pretty good entrance there, but he's just going to kind of roll away as... That is a very interesting strategy. I didn't know that interaction happened as the PK fire just kind of blocks Planks the attacks. It, yeah. yeah, and that actually shortens her range a lot there as he is going to try and get in, but this is a little, this is just annoying. Standard Min Min gameplay. Yeah. Uh, but as, yeah, that, he, it I is just was, how Min Min plays and it is, I don't get why you're going for a smash tank there. Oh, but, um, yeah. He needs to get up. He needs to at least get one side, right? No way. Oh, let's P go. PK rocket, let's go. As, hey, I'm just saying back throw right now, Gio. <laughs> I, I can I can transport. Dude, yeah, that too. almost killed. Oh my okay. God. Yeah, oh, and yep. yeah, there. Uh, the goon head's going to hit it. Yeah. Yeah. So you can bring it back in if you want. Or like, I don't know. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> um, but yeah. So Min Min, annoying character to play against. Yeah. Especially when you have characters that like rushing people yeah, down. and everything. Like he's, you, It really is one of the biggest character dependent. Mm -hmm. Man, I... You Ganon means, bro. I don't know how you deal with, deal with that. Oh, man. my gosh. I, I guess you have down B to get in, and that's about guess, it. Like, yeah, but then it probably clanks with arms. Probably. So. All right. Bring Geo in. We'll, he'll be right back, you know. He ne like he never left. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Welcome. Welcome back. You just, you just don't want to leave, do you? I miss this place. Yeah, it feels good. It's, a, it's <laughs> the best place in the in the esports room. You know, I like how compact, but it feels good. Yeah. You know? Like the lighting's good, mm -hmm. lights, everything's good. So how did you think of that match went? The last one. The we last one? about the other one, too. Well, <clears throat> the Min Min, I haven't really played against a Min Min, but I feel like it went all right for what I know, I guess. Because mm -hmm. I played the actual game, but I didn't play and like it's yeah, oh, you played actual yeah. arms? I feel <laughs> yeah. so bad for you. I feel so bad for you. It was you. fun. What? That game was cool. Nah, yeah. it was, I feel like I did all right. I, I could have gotten him, though. I just needed a back throw. Yeah, you just need a back throw. I just need a back throw. Yeah, you just yeah. need a back throw. It's, see, even Emma, who has like, played Smash really? Bros. three <laughs> times, under zero times, understands the idea oh. of back throwing with Ness now. <laughs> That's all you need. <laughs> Red, uh, I'm going to come up with a rhyme for you at some point. A rhyme? <laughs> yeah, like... Uh, <laughs> Just uh, get it stuck uh, in my head. Back throw when it's red. Okay, something like that. I don't know. Oh, does, oh that actually... Yeah. I don't remember that, actually. Down throw when it's white. Back throw <laughs> when it's red. It'll be perfect. <laughs> oh, my gosh. I feel like the other game went... I could have saved one stock, though, from the other game, for yeah, sure. Back for sure. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm messing with you this No, point. no, actually, no, like, it's true. <laughs> if I back throwed, yeah. I would have saved that stock, but it's Yeah, I, like, in here, I was, when you got the back throw to end the match, I popped off so hard. I was like, it's finally! <laughs> we had a, we had a, we had a, a, a bet line going on, mm -hmm. uh, two and a half <laughs> over <laughs> under <laughs> back throws for Gio. <laughs> Everyone oh took the under. Gosh. <laughs> and we were right, so Gosh, dang it. I just need to if I can master that, I feel like I'm I'd be really good. I, I think as, so too. As like as that long would, as I do that. I you have improved a lot since last semester. Uh disregarding back throw and everything. I think you've improved a lot. I think you've honestly improved uh the most out of everybody on the squad. Oh. Um somebody is talking in chat and I am where violence I can't read. Is, so I can't read it. Geo could read it though. <laughs> you said when it's white. Oh, wait. That's actually so good. <laughs> Thank you. I'm gonna take a picture of that. Yeah. <laughs> I'll say that. That's perfect. <laughs> Thank you, Chatter. I don't know who it is, but thank you. No, Kim, I had to put it as my wallpaper. <laughs> <laughs> Commitment, right? <laughs> oh, shit. I'll do it right now. <laughs> As now we are going to see Matt on his Luigi play against that Min Min. Uh, what do you think Matt can do to fight against those Min Min? 
I don't know, especially with the Luigi. I don't, I don't know if you can close the distance down. It would be kind of hard. I, he does have the Cyclone. I think that's probably his plan. Oh, yeah. The distance. As he's going to do a forward throw. I think that was a miss but he wanted to probably do the back throw there. Or, the, sorry, the down throw. As he's going to be pretty close to getting in there, he's going to get that Nair into, back, into uh, forward tilt, but he's going to miss the grab as hopefully he can get something going. Oh, that's going to be a good clank at least as he needs to get in. He needs to yeah. get in. That That is the moral of playing against Min Min. You need to get right up close to her. As she, he is going to get hit by that. He's going to do the roll, though, so he'll dodge the second attack. This is not looking great. He's going to do a spot dodge, but he's going to hit by the second hit. And woo, good, Ooh, nice. good dodge the down smash. Oh, he tried to get the throw right away. There's the th there's the down throw. He's going to get another up air there. He needs to play like that little Mac was playing mm -hmm. again earlier. He needs to be on this Min Min's like, butt. You know, I can't swear. I can't swear. <laughs> I think that I think there is now. I realize now that there's probably been two swear words in this stream. Really? <laughs> I think you said uh, one. I did. I think when? so. Oh. And Manny said the <laughs> oh, F word. That. Or no, uh, Gabby said the F word when he was just in here. Like, come on, right? This is not an R-rated stream. That's my fault. That's my fault. <laughs> this is PG, guys. Come on. Matt is really good with his combos, though. I yes. love his combos. Yeah. And hopefully he can get something. I mean, he's a Terry and Luigi player. That, that yeah. All they are combos. Combos. <laughs> As hopefully he can get something. That's going to be a... Ooh. Oof. Trying to get the misfire there, but isn't really going to be able to get it there. There's the cyclone that I was talking about. Maybe... Maybe he wants to use that Cyclone to get in. Well, this is a very long match, I will say, as this Min Min is at a high percent, will die Let's to the go. dash attack, thankfully. And hopefully he can get the zero to death that Luigi has. I don't think Matt knows it, though. I will be honest. I feel like we all have, like, trouble ending the stock because we can get the damage in, but mm -hmm. just finishing it is where we struggle. Oh, he tr he's trying mm. to get something going with that kind of... Uh, with those uh, down throws there. 69% though, good percent he loses it though. Like, come on. <laughs> As he is gonna get hit by that, uh, by the big ball. And hopefully he can get something. At least he, get, he got one stock, which is pretty good. And he needs to just get something going. He needs to get right up in person, uh, close up in personal with this Min Min. Uh, and he's gonna get the Min Min off stage oh. at least. That might kill the Min Min. Oh, that will nice. kill the Min Min. One more stock. That's oh, all we need. Let's go. Come on. We oh, got. We, you got this, Matt. You got this. He's gonna change his uh, uh, little attack thing really quickly for the Min Min. And hopefully we can get something as the dragon will come out. Miss with the dragon. As, ooh, the dragon's gonna come. Right, okay, good. No edge guard there. Ooh, gonna get oh, the combo, combo, com combo. combo's gonna fail. As he's going to get grabbed from the dash attack. Ooh, good dodge. <laughs> he won't be able to dodge the second one. At least he got the other stock, though. That was yeah. that was really nice from Matt there. One stock left for the Min Min. Uh, and we got three stocks left on. You guys know who. It's Manny left. So Manny. Hopefully that, you can this clutch will him. be difficult for Manny, I think. This will be very annoying for Manny. How many are there left? Two? Or two? Uh, they have seven stocks. So seven they stocks. Have three people left. I'm, I'm just saying this match again in general against the Minmen would be difficult for Manny. Yeah, for sure. Uh, we'll go bring in Matt. We'll see what he thinks. Oh, he might be right there. Oh, oh, oh. oh. Is people walking? Or? We do have a full audience out there tonight. <laughs> I know. It's yeah. Kind of crazy. <laughs> I look back and all the I think they're all Matt's roommates. <laughs> As that match, uh, very good comeback there from Matt at the end there. To pretty to save a few stocks or at least uh, make it a little bit easier for Manny coming up here. Hopefully he can get some. Manny can hopefully get something going with his Wario. He just has to get around Min Min's arms, and I think the bike will help a lot with that. As hopefully he'll be able to use that high speed bike to get in there, and I think he'll probably try and use some platforms to kind of just get around the arms as well. And Matt will come in here any second now. Ooh, I got perfect that time. <laughs> Welcome. Yeah. So how'd that last match go right there? Three stocks, three stocks. <sighs> no one likes Min Min. That is very <laughs> true. That is... I mean, uh, yeah. Min Min's a good character, though. Mm -hmm. Very good at zoning. Even though she has no projectiles, that's just... 
the nature of the game. I play very polarizing characters. Yeah. That's why. Um. Uh, you know, I did as well as I thought I would. I'm gonna be honest. Okay. Um. There, I mean, there are brief periods where you know Luigi can approach, even though it's gonna be on the ground where Minmin's gonna throw her arms out because he's not approached from the air. That's for sure. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, so we are going to see uh, Gabby here. No, Manny on the Wario here. As How do you think he's going to be able to get through the zoning of the Min Min? Um, he can jump. Well, I mean, with the uh, Ram Ram, that projectile right there. Mm -hmm. I mean, yeah, you can see he can, he can jump yeah, through he's it. He's going to jump through it there. Because he's much better airspeed than Luigi. Yeah. That's, that's going to be his game plan probably. He's going to get that up smash aerial. too there. Yeah, he likes doing that, even though I tell him he shouldn't. Yeah, hope. Uh, how how often do you think we'll see bike come out here? Because bike should be able to get through a lot of these projectiles. Um, not a lot. It's a committal move mm -hmm. because with bike, that's there's well, bike. there's one. I mean, yeah, yeah you can use, you can hop uh, hop off. And it's gonna be it's a good projectile. Yeah. But that's about all you can do before you get hit pretty easily. Yeah. And plus, as long as it stays there, he's not getting it back. Yeah, hopefully Gabby can get here without losing any stocks. And hopefully we can see some more players come out. As he will be, he should be able to get back on the stage with the bike here. I think he has a quarter waft so far, as he's stalled enough to get quarter waft. As that bike is gonna hit, is gonna get that trade between the two of them, and bike's gonna get destroyed there. He's gonna try and get through, but he's gonna get hit by the dragon and get killed there. Hopefully he can get something. He he needs to get. Some kind of kill offs pretty soon. He's mm, gonna use his waft and right into the Bait. back air, uh, and that will be able to get the kill. Thankfully, he didn't SD there at the end. <laughs> that would have been bad. All right, so we're gonna see Manny here take on all si all the the rest of the six mm -hmm. stocks with their with his two stocks. I think he's got this, right? Well, let's see if Kazuya Mishima is in the chamber. That is true. That, that will, be, will be the deciding factor. I think. Well, it is the deciding factor. That'll be a intra. That'll be a difficult match for the Wario there, as yeah. we saw last time. The Wario didn't have a great time against Kazuya. I don't um, think nobody has a great time against Kazuya, unless your name um, is like Steve or Game and Watch. Yeah. And Steve cannot be played in this league. Thank God. <laughs> there are a few characters that should not be played: Min Min and Steve. Min, no. Min Min's fine, but Min just Min's annoying fine. to Min play Min's fine, yeah. I yeah. played uh, 10 matches as Fox against a Min Min main. Mm. I think I won one. It was that so it, bad. Yeah. It was so bad. Oh, it was not fun. Yeah. Rough time against rushdown characters. Yeah. I, I tried to use platform, but it was so terrible. <laughs> like, because uh, even having a reflector as Fox, you don't reflect the arms. No, because it's an arm. Yeah. yeah, it's not. It's technically not a projectile. It's a. It's a melee. It's. I yeah, guess it's yeah. a melee attack. I don't. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, <laughs> it's like a really, really, really long sword, <laughs> which is just not fun for anyone. Uh, but it looks like we won't see the Kazuya come out. But no spoilers. Um, you can kind of see the preview over there. Uh, oh yeah. 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 Without saying the name of the character, how do you think Gabby can do this? Or Manny will be able to uh, play well against this character. Um, just knowing his setups and knowing what. Okay, well now it's revealed. Yeah. Well, they haven't well, seen all the that, stream so. yet. Yeah. Knowing his setups and knowing what he can do in neutral, uh, along with um, pretty tricky but explosive combos. Mm -hmm. All right. So yeah, if you guys couldn't figure it out, it was Pac-Man. Yeah. Uh, that was a very vague description, I will be honest. That was mm -hmm. a lot more vague than uh, Gabby's description of Min Min. Oh, so, really? As now we'll we'll see the taunts come out. Uh, hopefully, yeah, and we'll we'll start seeing those cycles through those um, projectiles that he can use. And the hydrant will be dropped pretty much in the center, but it should go away pretty soon. As the as Pac Man's going to try and use it before it goes away. As this. As they do, as these two characters have very similar ideas of just kind of camping out for the for specific setups and everything. As Gabby, of course, wants his waft, and Pac-Man kind of just wants his right projectiles to get his setups in. And 
You're really okay. confusing Gabby and Manny again. I am. That's I do it all the time. <laughs> yeah, I mean, happens. Yeah, as Manny will get uh, forward smashed through the fire hydrant there to end his life. And it looks, and the fire hydrant's gonna get bounced off again. As, hope, as the grab at least is gonna miss there. He can't really get these second hits on the Nairs. He's gonna get F smashed there as well. And just hopefully he can get something as that fire hydrant was gonna be pretty close. He's gonna send the bike there, but not really gonna be doing anything with it as he needs to get more. I think he's stalling for more waft probably is that I believe mm -hmm. is half waft now, which should be able to kill, I think at this percent as he's gonna get a good dash attack there. And yeah, the Pac-Man's just gonna pretty much stall off stage. Uh, and it looks like he's just gonna do some, just some uh, down tilts in, in place. As now the Galagas are gonna come out to try it, to get, some, ooh, it was a pretty close up smash. That would've been bad. Uh, as he's gonna, ooh. one more, if anyone lands on that, they're gonna go into free fall. And that could be a potential uh, punish at least mm -hmm. as now it's going to be set off in the middle of the stage again now that's full waft so that will definitely kill now yep. um as the bell is going to be, Watch gonna out be for picked that. up again yep, yep it's going to get the stun oh that was very close to getting hit by the side be there and hopefully he can just kind of get something going as he's going to throw the waft and just miss there as he needs to get this at least stock once so he can show that he can actually get a stock and maybe get the next one after that but this Pac-Man's just gonna recover from anyway because it's Pac-Man. And hope he needs to get something. The key is gonna come out, but the key won't be able to kill right away. Thankfully, is now he's gonna take control of the of the the fire hydrant uh, damage, and that's gonna get it there with the fire mm -hmm. hydrant uh, forward air. All right, you can go grab Manny, and I'll grab Manny. Okay. I'll talk to him about the match and then finish up. Ah. Uh, Interesting match there. We had to see a Pac-Man versus a Wario. Not the most fun, exciting sort of match, but we'll at least get a fun interview afterwards as hopefully we'll see. We got one more match this week, I believe, and hopefully we can see some better results there as this team is a work in progress, to be honest. <laughs> it is a lot. I think we aren't streaming the next match. So I will also do the coaches interview today just to get the actual coaches interview in. Welcome. Yes, good job closing. All right. Oh boy. What'd you think of that last match? Those last two matches, I guess. Uh, the last, then, then wasn't that bad. Like one I, was gonna, I thought it was gonna be so. worse, worse. Yeah, it wasn't that bad. I thought it wasn't worried about it. Um, Pac-Man, I did not think that Pac-Man was slightly floaty enough that he just drops out of the Nair combo. Yeah, I, I saw that you weren't getting your two-hit Nair combos usually. Yeah, and, I, and usually, like, sometimes if I don't hit it, that's because I don't do the air drift, like, right enough where I don't give him full momentum. But that was just, I had full momentum. I guess just Pac-Man just drops out of it. That is very unfortunate there. Yep. So what do you think you guys could do differently before your match tomorrow? Before a match tomorrow? Uh, I don't really know. Uh, I don't know any of them yet. I don't okay. know any of the guys yet, so well, I have no idea. Time to start studying. But find out. Overall, how do you think the sets went? Or the sets went? Yeah, well, the series went. Obviously, the second set went obviously way better because Kazuya was indeed playing Tekken. Yeah. <laughs> so that first set was just honestly rough. Although I, I think like for the first two stocks, I did well, and then after that, I was like. I did kind of just notice it was kind of funny just seeing him do electric wind god fist over and over, over and over and over and over and over. And then it was funny seeing how he made, I don't know if that was the actual case, but it looked like he only really killed with a dragon uppercut. That is pretty much It the looked case. like that, that was the entire case where he only killed with only that move. Yeah. And I, I don't know, I, I guess it's just more kind of dog. It was kind of weird seeing how he missed like every combo except one on that, on Geo. Okay. Yeah, it's, he, he, this is, I think we definitely need, we have some work to do over the whatever before next year. Yeah, obviously yeah, over next year. Hope yeah. we get more people too. Yeah, hopefully. Because this is the last week um, overall. We aren't making the playoffs again. Woo. <laughs> Woo. Yeah, we have yet to win still. But hope we can change it. We can turn this around. Gotta get uh, one to six. I think, I think it is one. No. 
I forget how many teams we've played total because I know we technically have. We are. I forget if we had what a buy or not. I we are know. zero and five right now. Yeah. Because there's six matches. Let's get one to five. five. Let's get one to five. Gotta, yeah, gotta one make, five. make an improvement. All right. Go bring in Aaron. All right. Go bring in the coach. Go bring in Mr. Blackman. <laughs> All right. We'll do the coach's interview here because we won't be streaming tomorrow for the last match. Um, and hopefully we can see some improvement from these guys for the next few years to come. As major as the twins are both freshmen, so we're going to see them for four years playing here. Um, and then I believe uh, Gio is a junior, I think, sophomore maybe. Anyways, welcome, Mr. Aaron Blackman, Mr. Coach of the Year. I don't know. <laughs> All right. So how do you think that match went? Um, it, it was definitely getting better, obviously, in the second game. Uh, the first one um, just kind of definitely got away from us. It's the same kind of problem, and we were just talking about it in there, that we've had since the fall, and, like, we can build up the damage, and we just can't. We just can't get them out, and we can't knock them out. So uh, finishing that stock is, like, the, the most important thing right now. Yeah. Uh, I definitely agree with that. I've seen a lot of that. Um, overall... Uh, that's obviously the main thing to work on. Is there anything else you guys kind of want to work on before, uh, even tomorrow or next time um, or next whenever we play again? I guess. <laughs> yeah. So tomorrow is our last uh, regular season match, and so uh, we'll be going up against. Oh, I blinked. Um, Fair enough. Yeah, I, I've been having to reschedule so many matches lately, <laughs> mm -hmm. um, but. Uh, yeah, I, you know, just trying to clean up um, w what they've got right now, um, you know, movement and uh, just making sure that their their moves are intentional. They're not just kind of throwing things out, but they, they're they intentional. They're either trying to zone them out or they are you know going in and trying to get that hit. Mm -hmm. um, and so a lot of the time, yeah, you know, we can come out there and we'll we'll throw something out but it's not really like anywhere close to them you know or um the other big thing is um just changing up the variety uh, of the way that we approach so that it, we are a little less predictable um you could definitely i think see it um when geo was going up against the little mac uh, geo kept going with with the side b the fire and just little mac was to pop, pop, pop the shield like yeah the, there was just, you know, the exact same amount of space that Joe would then throw the PK fire out and the little Mac knew, right? And so uh, varying up the way that we approach um, and trying to at least keep that in their mind for, for tomorrow's match too. Yeah. yeah. Uh, overall, because I, we're doing the interview today because, you know, tomorrow we won't be streaming. Sure. But how do you think the overall, like, season has gone? Um, you know, I think... We've definitely still seen improvement despite the the record, um, and it's tough too because honestly, I feel like overall the the opponents that we've had this semester are just stronger than last semester. And I'm not saying that last semester they were weak by any means, but just it's tough when you know you you don't get any wins in the first semester, and then like you've got even harder opponents for the second semester. Yeah, right. And so there isn't really any self-correcting there just yet. Um, We've been 12-0, 11-0, and 10 0 Yeah, yeah. Uh, <laughs> and that's probably uh, one of the bigger things that we have to work on, too, is uh, when there is that, like, one really good player, um, we have to try and pick out how to, f how to fight them and how to, you know, adjust our strategy in the middle of the match. Mm -hmm. um, take a little bit more time in between our players going in uh, and be like, okay, why is this Kazia just wrecking us, right? Yeah. Or, okay, Rob, what the heck are we doing wrong? Because um, there is, you know, just a big mentality factor when, you know, you have, like, you've gone in um and you've already sent in two players and haven't gotten a stock off them or you've gotten one stock of off of them and this other player is just you know kind of demolishing the Steve team rolling, yeah, right yeah like that. yeah and so how do we reset how do we uh how do we stop that before it gets out of hand yeah i think that's ve a very interesting like kind of way to put uh put it try and get through that one really tough player mm -hmm. um 
what do you kind of expect for next season as we come around to the basically end of our season here? <laughs> Um, gosh, I mean, I'm just hoping that we can keep the team strong, right? Um, so last semester, uh, Luke graduated the semester, Matt, uh, should be graduating. And, um, <clears throat> so, Jax uh, is going to be busy with theater. So <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, but, uh, if we, if we can bring in a, a recruiter too, that can help, uh, fill in that gap, um, and then just try and, uh, expand our horizons. I, you know, ideally if we can start looking for more lands around here, I know Nebraska is not <laughs> probably known for a whole lot, but, uh, if we can tap into some of those so that we can get more practice, mm -hmm. obviously there's a difference between the, you know, the connection and the online l latency and lag and, um, being physically there in person. Um, but overall being there and just getting them into more competitions, um, they're, they're going to get a better. So, uh, that's the ideal, um, I guess for next semester is we've got at least a baseline. Um, and now we just try to improve upon it. Yeah. All right. Thank you. I think that's all my questions Cool. Thank you. as I will end off the stream here as, uh, you can mute Mike too. Thank you. As I will go back into the center and I've got to feed my, uh, main character some. <laughs> as uh so we pr most likely will not have a stream tomorrow uh for the overwatch match and the smash bros match as that's the day when you guys should go to the play i'm just saying it's perfect uh secondly uh we have matches thursday and friday normal times uh normal uh games as well so overwatch and rocket league and those will be hopefully really good matches as they are our last matches of the season before playoffs start. And then we'll be excited for our, uh, definitely we'll have at least two teams in playoffs already with Overwatch and Rocket League being, I think, already confirmed in. Uh, Smash Bros, I think we need to at least win tomorrow to get in. So maybe we'll get three, who knows, but definitely two for sure. So we'll see you guys then. Bye, thank you for watching.